Good morning. This is Mary McLeod and this is Earth Angel TV where I come with an open heart, with an open vibration, with an open channel to bring source messages. So if you have questions, put questions in the comments. We will tap into source together. We will receive the highest truths for us, for humanity, for all that is, for this weird and wonderful time that we're in. We will receive, receive, receive. And one of the keys to receiving is to be receptive. Yes? And what is it to be receptive? To be receptive, we have to let go of all of our, our thoughts and beliefs and <clears throat> habit patterns. And we just have to take them off, like taking off a cloak, taking off a cloak of the past. So let's just do that. Take off the cloak of the past, hang it on a hook next to you so that we can be totally receptive to hearing the deepest truths for us. Hop in and let me know who's here. Post your questions and I will begin. We'll begin to tap into, tap into the source that is you the life force that is you. That message is very strong. The one of being receptive. So this is a time where people are asking a lot. They're saying, why is this going on? How can I stop being so reactive? How can I be more loving in my life? How can I receive more love in my life, right? Yes, do comment if you're relating. <clears throat> and in order to receive, you must be receptive. So letting go of belief systems. Letting go of the thoughts, the thoughts that come before the feelings of anxiety or depression or hurt or fear or anger. The thoughts that come before that are related directly to the feeling and the sensation that happens in your body. Yes, yes. <sighs> so when we first came to this place, when we first decided to create a, a realm of manifestation, when we came from the spirit realm, and wanted to play in physical. We knew we were infinite beings. We knew we could do anything. We could manifest like that. And we came to this place where there is density, where there is a personal sense of self. Yeah? So we made a lot of mistakes, didn't we? <laughs> As those infinite beings being born into a realm <clears throat> where our magic wands didn't work. Yeah. And it's taken eons and eons of destruction of the planet that we're living on and destruction of the relationships. Yeah. And self-destruction. It's taken years and years to get to this point where enough of us are figuring out how to wake up. Enough of us are remembering our true nature, that we are starting to be able to tip the scales back in favor of infinite love. Yes, that's good news, isn't it? <laughs> that is very good news. So if you have questions about your life specifically, put them in the comments or just say hello and let me know where you're joining from. I'm gonna have a quick sip of tea because I've got a scratchy throat. My intention is always to tap in and present the information, the vibrations from source and the highest good of all. So what you will hear, hear here is in the highest good of all. And thank you for tuning in.
Openness, receptiveness is the message of the day. If we want to receive something new, we need to be receive we need to be receptive to something new. If we want to receive more love, we have to be receptive of more love, which means we have to let go of all the belief systems. Just by stating our intention, you can let go of those beliefs and you can ask source and the angels, show me, show me how to be more receptive to infinite love, to the love of others. Show me how to let go of the past. I'm willing, I'm able, I'm ready to let go of the past, to have an open heart and it helps to actually physically open your arms to become more open to as a receptive vehicle to the love that is already there. And you know why the love is already there? Because the love is already you. Let's breathe that in. And out through the crown. The love that is already you. Yes, we do want to see that from the outside. When we're in the realm of manifestation, we would like to see it coming from other people um, and abundance coming from other people. However, we first have to be totally grounded in that abundance and in that love from within us, right? We cannot stake all of our happiness and our fulfillment in life on getting love and abundance from outside of ourselves. We have to cultivate that from within us. We have to stand in the truth and the knowing that we are made of infinite abundance and that we are made of infinite love, that we are whole and one with the divine and all that is, that we're being served in every moment, served by the highest, most compassionate divine beings. We're being served. So everything that's coming into our experience now, as painful as it may seem, is designed to wake us up. Let's breathe that one in. And exhale up to the up to all your higher dimensional selves. We're understanding, we're understanding the truth. Breathing in from the feet, which are grounded down into Mother Earth. Breathing in through the feet. Out through the shimmering field of infinite possibilities and out through the crown. Sharing with the higher dimensional selves the knowledge that you, as the channel, as the connector, the the conduit between heaven and earth, our understanding as the, the manifested self, you are understanding your status as light and love. You are made of mother earth and you are made of divinity. That's your highest nature. And when we breathe that in through the feet and share it with the higher dimensions, and then breathe in that angelic love from above through the crown. And we allow that to channel down through this infinite being and back down into Mother Earth. When we do that, we are, we are speaking directly to Mother Earth. We are speaking directly to the higher dimensional selves, to the divine. Speaking to them, saying, yes, we're here. We're online. We're here. We know we're made of light and love. How can we channel more light and love into this realm of manifestation? Yes? See if you're getting some answers. And if you have specific questions, please put them in the comments and we will tap in together for the truth for you, for your next step, for where you might be going wrong in your thoughts, your beliefs. Not that there's any wrong because you're constantly learning from whatever it is you're putting into your vibration and whatever is resulting as a manifestation from outside. So whatever you're feeding yourself mentally, emotionally, whatever you're hanging on to, you're going to be having an avalanche of manifestations according to that, that vibration that you're offering, which is why it's so important to offer your vibration deliberately by saying, yes, I'm a channel of light and love. I am the way that earth gets to experience the heavenly realms. I am the way that heaven gets to experience the manifested realm. Me, I, you, human, beautiful human, divine human. Do you know how special it is and how special you are as the manifested version of heaven? 
as the way that Earth, the manifested realm, gets to experience heaven and the way that heaven gets to experience Earth. That is what we intended. That is what we're moving towards on new Earth, is the full integration of our heavenly selves with our physical. Can we imagine the life that is unfolding for us on new Earth as we consciously direct our powerful focus on the divinity within, on the knowing of who we really are. Let's breathe that in. <sighs> Breathing in from above through the crown. Letting that angelic energy rinse, cleanse, clear through wherever you're holding a vibration of pain and sadness and fear and anger. Breathe in from above that all is well. Breathe it down and let that rinse gently, compassionately, lovingly through you and through your feet. It's a new understanding. It's a new way of being. We can't keep on repeating old ways and expect our lives to be different. This is what we need to do. Be here, be silly and playful, <laughs> be your inner child, allow him or her to experience life as they wanted to, <laughs> as they came here to, right? The playful way. You want to ask yourself, how can I play today? How can I take my inner child on a play date today? What am I going to do? You know what I've seen? I've seen guys, mainly guys, some women, jumping into the sea in the middle of winter here in Adelaide. And it's pretty cold. Like it's not frozen. It's not full of snow. But they're jumping into the sea and they're enjoying and they're playing. You know, maybe you don't have to jump into the sea. but Maybe you can go for a walk. Maybe you could go down to the creek like you used to when you were little. Maybe you could go jump on a trampoline or do a dance or play with some finger paints. How does your inner child wish to play? Because that's what that's one of the things that we're reactivating. And that is one of the ways that we play on new earth. We don't hold anything back. We are not serious. We are loving, creative, playful, open hearted beings. So wherever you can activate that now in your life by not watching the news, right? By, by not focusing, by redirecting conversations that you're in with people who are going negative, negative, negative. You can hold the space of light and love, right? You can hold the space of light and love and you can redirect that conversation. Not that you wanna take someone who's in deep grief and say, hey, just be happy. That's not what we wanna do, but you can redirect that conversation to say, hey, let me, can I just ask you something? When was the last time you felt really good? Or what was the, when was the last time you, um, you did something really fun? Um, it just kind of redirect the conversation to something that will make their mind start to look for more positive experiences and feelings within them and times when they felt like they were loved. Yeah. Yeah. Let's breathe in together. This is such divine 528 hertz music. Again, if you're coming on and you have a question for source, for me, pop it in the comments. I'm happy to tap in for you. So we just enjoy this time spending with our divine self in total oneness. The more time you can spend in total oneness, in the vibration of love, the more your life just unfolds without having to try hard, without having to work hard, without having to struggle or try and manipulate things, the more we can just surrender to the light and love that we actually are and be happy anyway. And, and be a Pollyanna and think, choose to put conscious thoughts into that amazing, powerful mind of yours that are in alignment with love and wholeness and oneness and everything working out already. And the fact that you are being witnessed and seen and heard and felt and known and supported and accepted and understood unconditionally by life itself. You have never been unseen. You have never been not understood or invisible. You're being seen by the source of all. 
by the deepest part of you and witnessed and appreciated, so appreciated, so incredibly loved and respected and worshiped for your willingness to come down here, knowing that you were going to forget the deepest part of you. You were going to forget who you really were. And you came down anyway and you said, I'm going now because I can help this planet and I will wake up and I will remember who I really am and I will shine light and love all over this planet, whatever is happening out there. I will shine light and love across, across time to all beings. Let's breathe that in. Thank you, Source. I'm going to offer a soul gaze. Will you receive a gaze from source to you? An angelic healing. Will you receive this amount of love? You are the one self. Relax in the knowing that all is well. <sighs> 